Happy Halloween. Welcome to Manny's Makings. Yay. Whoa. So today we're going to make this pendant piece. It's just a pendant that you can hang on a piece of black leather cording or cording. Um, the fun part is this one I actually made so it's still loose in most places. So it actually, the spider actually moves. So if you're wearing it, the spider would bounce around on your, um, on top of your pendant, which is really kind of cool. Um, kind of freak everybody else around who especially has fiber, uh, spy, spider uh, phobias. That happens. There's lots of people who don't like them. I'm not particularly fond of them. Uh, they're not pets or anything in my household. But anyways, I thought this would be fun. Um, yeah, so much fun. So I'm going to show you how to make this. So, uh, Let's get to business. Just a little bit of business. So I have a Patreon account and I would love for you to help support me in continuing to make these videos. So if you have a couple of extra bucks a month, uh, please feel free to check me out. All the links are below for all my different accounts, Facebook, Instagram, uh, friend me on Facebook and I will uh, accept you as long as you don't look like you're a scammer where you only have one thing posted in the last 15 years. And <laughs> then uh, you're more than welcome to post anything you make, uh, pictures of anything you make from any of my videos. I'd love to see what you guys are making from my videos. It would be awesome. So uh, that's below. And also any of the materials needed in any of my videos always can be found uh, underneath the show more button just a little down arrow click it and you will see all the rest of the information so let's get started okay so this spider I'm gonna make this isn't completed it's just a uh, gives you an example it's gonna be a red one so I picked a, a funky bead this happens to be drilled this way it actually works better if you can find a bead and this is one of one of those you know those cheapy bags of bead soup bags you can buy at places like Michaels and whatever they have like broken bead, like broken strings of beads and so they put them all in a you know the end cap and you can get a bag of mixed beads so I have all kinds of weird and wonderful one-offs and this is a 6-0 that I'm going to use for the head and then I just have some this is actually like bright bright pink it looks pretty red there but it's like super bright pink <laughs> like fluorescent pink uh, I'm going to use this wire up because I'm not going to use it for anything else and most of it's hidden anyways and the little bit that shows kind of is cool so I'm going to use this wire for uh, making my legs with and then I have some uh, super cheap um, this is uh, craft wire that you can buy it you know Michaels or whatever it's dead soft this is the aluminum wire that you can buy and I think I paid a dollar for each of my little I had a it was about double this amount um, on each one yeah you can see so it's about double this amount here so that's what you start with and it's enough to do some fun projects like this you can use that or um, in my case, I think today I'm going to use some pear wire for my frame. It's a little bit sturdier and this is 18 gauge and this will make my frame. Um, I also have some craft wire again in black that I'm going to use for the webbing and I'm not really sure on the gauge of this. My guess is it's 26 gauge based on the size of it because this is 26 and this is about the same size. So I'm guessing it's 26 and this is going to make my web. So get your beads, um, you know, oh, one more. So I have some little, um, these are light amethyst luster that I'm going to use. Um, so I get this to show. It's not going to show. It's too blowing out here. Light amethyst luster. And these are Jetline Toho seed beads. And they're number 251. And I'm going to, they're size 15 O's. And I'm going to use them for the legs. And then I have some junk beads, I call them. You know, those bag of beads that you get that have all the different colors in them and you think oh that'll be fun and then they're you realize they're all uneven and they're yucky um, again um, this is perfect for like Halloween projects animals are uh, are not we're not exactly the same on both sides uh, we're you know not symmetrical so it's fun to have some beads um, that aren't perfect and it makes it actually look more like a real spider so if you look at this one here when I show it to you you can see that the beads aren't exactly perfectly the same size and I'm good with that because it actually makes it look more like a real spider and it's kind of fun. So I'm going to show you how to make the frame and how to put the web on and then I'm going to show you how to make the spider. So go get your stuff together and we'll get started. 
Okay, so I've cut myself a 7 inch piece of the 18 gauge wire and we're going to make the frame that goes around uh, the outside here and you can, you're more than welcome to pound this on a, with a hammer and an anvil um, so that you can strengthen it if you want. I didn't feel it was necessary but that's up to you. So the first thing I'm going to do is I have my two flush ends and I'm going to make a loop and the loop is going to be uh, what I put my cord through. So if I want to use big cord, I make a big loop. If I want to use small cord or I want to attach chain, then you make a smaller loop. So I always bring it around so that it connects and for some reason I've overlapped here so that's okay. We'll fix it. Come on. There we go. And then I usually take it and I call it breaking its neck. So I put it right here on the edge of the of the two and bring it so it makes it a lollipop. Okay, so I have a lollipop and that's what I'm going to hang my pendant piece from. So from that point for where the neck is broken to here to it's one and a half inches. So one and a half inches I'm going to take my pliers and I'm going to hold them funky because I'm going to hold them this way so you can see them in the camera and I'm going to stick my pliers right so that they're up against the zero on my ruler. So the broken neck piece is at one and a half. You can see that. And this is a zero. And then I'm just going to take it and I'm going to bend it. Okay. And then I'm going to take my bend and put it right on the one and a half mark. And I'm going to put this on the zero and I'm going to bend it. Now I'm, I'm trying to keep them on the same plane. It's not absolutely essential. What I mean by the same plane is I'm bending them all so that they're, you know, one's not bending this way while the other one's, you know, you know what I'm saying, right? And I'm just pushing it against the pliers and I'm holding it like really bizarre. Don't worry about it. And then I'm going to take another one. Put it at the spot and bring it around. And if you look, I have just enough to wrap the top around. So this is where you get to square it off and make it look a, a little bit more like a square. Uh, for those uh, who want it to be absolutely perfect, you're more than welcome to measure each of the sides and make sure like I could take it at the one and a half inch mark here and I can bend it in so that when it wraps around this piece, it's at one and a half inches. So everything's one and a half inches and then I can just square it up a bit. Here. I got my square. So now I need to fasten this obviously and you could just do the like a wire wrap thing or you can just cut it off and bend it over and sort of tuck it in. So I think I'm just going to cut it off, bend it over. Let me just bend this a little bit more first. There we go. And then I'm just going to take it and cut it off just a little bit past. So I'm leaving enough space to sort of wrap around that wire with my flat side in and I'm just going to take it, take the tip of my pliers and put it on the round, the sticky outy part and on the round backage back part of here and bring it in. Make sure that that goes in good and it didn't. So just tightening it up. There we go. And this will slide on here a little bit, but once we get everything set, we're going to be good to go. Okay, so let's move some of these tools out of the way so I don't get my weaving wire all cut up. So now I'm going to take some weaving wire and in this case, it's all stuck around this thing. So I'm going to pull myself out a piece. Um, I'm going to say that you need a half a wingspan, um, probably not that much, but pretty close. And so I'll get the half a wingspan ready and I'll be back. Okay, so what we need to do, if you look at this one, I'm going to turn it upside down because the spider is attached, is we need to make these crossbars and we need to make eight of them so that we can weave, there we go, so we can weave this around and I wanted it to be all crinkly and funny so I'm, I'm great with all of that, just so you know. Um, yeah, so we need to put, attach these and it's really simple and this is one of those projects that I don't want you to be super neat with. You're going to have better results. You're going to be happier with the way that it looks if you're not perfectly neat. So I'm just putting a little bit around here and I'm going to 
Just pull it tight. I'm wrapping it twice. I don't need to wrap it more than that. Making it tight. So you guys have seen me put wire around stuff before. Let's see if I can get it to... There we go. So I just wrapped it around twice. And I'm going to just leave that hanging out there. And then I'm going to bring it across. And it, the wire doesn't have to be perfectly straight. Bring it across and figure out how much it would take to wrap around. Or I can take all my wire through. You can cut off pieces if you want um, that are a little bit longer. So I just pulled the wire through. And I'm going to around once. Now this wire is a little uh, springy is the right word for it. So I have to be careful not to kink it because it kinks really easy. And that, hence why I went, eh, let's just have fun with that. So I'm just making a piece, making it double wrapped, and then I'm just going to cut it off on the back side. And I'm going to take my pliers. So I need the one set of pliers. And as you can see, there's a piece sticking up here. So I just need to tuck that down so there's no scratchy bits. And bring those loops together. And we can cut this one off now too. And I just put my little tiny scraps of wire out of the way. Uh, it's being a little silly. There we go. So there's my first wire on. And yeah, I had to bend this because I did a little tight. I don't really care. This is Halloween. This is fun. <laughs> and if you're not having fun, then don't do it. So then I'm going to put another one. I'm going to put it this way. So you get the idea. And I'm using as little as uh, of extra wire as possible. And I don't care if my loops overlap. I'm letting it wrap all the way around. I'm not cutting it off this time. I want you to see how relaxed everything is um, in this process because I want you to just have fun with it. Okay, so that's good to go. Let's get this over beside the other ones. So I'm just taking my fingernails. I guess I could use my pliers. That would be simpler, right? And I'm just pulling it across. This will slide on here, so I'm not worried about where that is at the moment. We only have to worry about it once we add the wire that goes round and round. Ta -da! So I bring it around once, bring it through, bring it around twice, and we'll cut it off at the back. And then we'll just tuck it in. Make sure she's good and happy and there's no sharp little edges. Okay, so there's the two going across the middle of the whole thing, right? So now I have to add two more and these ones are a little bit more strange, we'll say, because they have to breach a corner and they'll want to slide down one side or the other side. So that's the back side. And the reason I'm calling it the back side is because that's the side my loop went under. So the top here doesn't have the loop, the hole where the loop attaches isn't showing. So what you have to do is you're going to put it here, but I need to wrap one side here and then I wrap it around the opposite corner as well. So I do both corners and then I do the same with the other side. So I'll show you. So let's say I want it on this side first. So I wrap once here. And I'm just trying to get my wire to behave. There we go. And you can do this if you wanted to. You could do this in expensive wires and for people who are absolutely Halloween uh, dories and want to have really nice Halloween jewelry. You could do this in, you know, sterling silver if you wanted to. Um, so I did it on the one side. So I'm going to bring it over and now I'm going to do it on the other side of this corner. I'm going to wrap it twice on the other side of this corner. I'm going to cut off the excess. And I'm going to tuck it down. Okay. 
There we go. So now it won't slide around on the corner. And that's the, the big thing. You need to sort of buffer the corner. So I'm going to bring it to the other corner. Now this one I started on this side of the corner. So this one I'm going to start on the opposite side of the corner. And I'm just going to move these two things out of the way. So it gives me space to put my wire through. I don't have to worry about it kinking up too much. I'm getting caught on the spider. There we go. So just watch as you're spacing. There we go. There's one. And then I'm going to bring it around the other side. Pull this up so it's as close as it can be. And do one. Two on the other side. So I end up having two and two, two and two, or two and three. It doesn't really matter. It's close. This one looks like it's bigger than it is. So you're getting the idea. I have one more corner to do. And then I'll show you how to start the whole process of going round and round in circles. And I'm still working from the same piece of wire. And I could have cut off shorter pieces, uh, you know, a couple of inches wider than I needed for the size cube, which is an inch and a half by an inch and a half by an inch and a half. So I could have cut off, you know, two and a half or three inch uh, pieces and then had tails, um, you know, so I could have worked it. That's up to you. So this one I'm going to start down here first. And it doesn't really matter which way I go first. So I'm going to wrap it around, ouch, around once, twice. Bring that so it's close together. Bring it over to the corner. Bring it around this way and get this side once. And then I'm going to bring this across to the top. So let's cut this off at the bottom before I go any further. And we're going to tuck it down. It is still important that you make sure you bury your ends. Uh, you don't want to be having something that's going to be catching on your clothing or scratching you. It's not going to be fun. So then I'm going to bring it up. Sorry if the focus has been out for a bit. I didn't notice it, so I just refixed it. And this time, because I the wire's here, so I want the wire on this side, and it's just balancing it out. Boop, get back up there. So this is where I get to hold this up. I just take it and wrap it around. Once on that side, bring that to where I need it to be. And we'll wrap it around one more time. And then I'm going to cut it off. So it just wrapped around the top here. And I don't know if you guys have ever taken a really good look at a spider web, but they're kind of cool. And they're pretty symmetrical and pretty, you know, even and pretty perfect. Um, but they get blown around the wind a little bit and things start to change and they're not as perfect anymore. So as you can see, these wires uh, can move around pretty easily and that's what I want. So now I have a piece left over. Um, let's see how much I have here. I have three quarters of the arm span still left which because I've only used a few inches here. So I'm going to take it and I'm going to bend it and I'm just going to make like a little hook here. Just enough so that I can take this end and sort of bend it around. And I'm going to put it over the middles of all of these centers. Now obviously I'm only going to catch a few. I'm not going to catch all of them. And then I'm just going to wrap this around. I'm just going in and out of different places, different holes, different directions. Okay, wrap it around. To make a little centerpiece and in this case yep, that's my back I'm gonna just cut it off and make sure it's tucked down cutting it off and I'm gonna tuck this down okay so that's all nice and tucked down so this is where I'm gonna start from on my weaving I'm going to weave right to the very last row um, on this project and I need to straighten this up so I'm going to straighten this up Ta -da. and if I want to make it uh, to work as a pendant and I don't want to you know attach jump rings or anything then I just take it and 
turn it this way so it's at 90 degrees. See, cool? It's easy. Easy peasy. If you wanted to hammer it, you need to do it before you put these little wires on. Okay. So I'm going to work spiral. So I'm holding the first one here and I'm going to tuck it down in between and then I'm going to bring it back up and if you can get your, see my wire is really super springy. If your wire is a little bit more better behaved than mine is, because this is cheap craft wire I'm using, then, um, you know, you can um, get a little bit smoother results in doing this, but I'm good with a funky result. So the idea is not to get any kink in it, not like a big kink where you can wreck your wire. So I'm just undoing the little places it's wanting to kink. See, there we go. So I have this start and I'm going to hold my finger uh, on the center here and I'm going to pull it against my thumb and it's going to give me some spacing. And that one was under and this one's over on this one. So I'm going to go back through and I'm literally just going to go under and over. And so that one was under so this would be over and you could do a couple sometimes under over so I just went over a couple of spots see I'm not very far over and I'm just pulling and it gets a little harder to make sure it doesn't like kink up see I need to undo so I have a, a loop rather than a than that I don't want that I want that I want a loop like that okay Okay, so now that it's in, in the frame, and these are going to keep moving around and that's okay, I'm going to hold my thumb again and I'm going to pull it against my thumb. And look at it, it straightens the wire out and everything. Okay, and I'm just going to put my thumb, basically the, the edge of my thumb here, I'm pulling the wire against my thumb as I'm pulling it around. So I'm going to keep going in and out, in and out, in and out, till I get uh, enough on here and if I want it spaced closer together. I can space it closer together. I can take this and use my fingernail instead of my thumb and pull it in tighter. See, I can pull it in tighter. I can make it go out more. So it depends on how you want to do it, but I'm just going to circle around, circle around till it would be my last row. So when I get up to here, which, and there's only about enough space for one more row to go around, this is when we're going to fasten the legs and we're going to fasten the wire to each one of these pieces so that it holds still. Okay. So we're going to just go in. You're going to just weave it literally in and out, in and out, in and out and spiral. And I'll do a little bit fast forward here so you can see a little bit of what this looks like. Okay, so I've got some of my stuff on here and I've got enough space and this whole thing moves and I can, you know, space it if I want with my pliers of my fingers, I can push wires in and out. Um, I did attach a couple of times where I wrapped just around the wire to make it stay where it is. I wanted movement in this. Uh, if you don't want any movement, each wire you can do this and this is what I'm going to do. So I'm happy with sort of the spacing there. See, I get, when I push it out, it makes it bigger. So I'm happy with the spacing there and I'm going to just take it up and bring it around and bring it in, bring it down. And I'm just wrapping it around that wire. Just now they're both the same gauge. So you have to be slow and careful, but now this uh, will move still, but it's not going to um, see how this still moves, but it's going to fix the amount of wire that's in that particular circle. Okay, so now I'm ready for my next round and um, this is where you leave it and then we make the spider. Okay, so remember that heavy gauged uh, wire that I said we were going to use for the spider. This is what we're going to use is the cheap wire. So let me cut this off so it's flush. There we go. I just want to get that little tiny piece. Out of the way and I'm just going to take the end here 
So let me zoom in just a smidge for you. Okay, so we're gonna I'm gonna take this little tiny piece here and I'm just gonna take it and bend it over itself uh, like this, and then I'm gonna squish it down. So I'm gonna take it and just squish it down. Now if it'll squish down without flipping around. Okay, so that's what you want to do is just make a little nubbly. Okay. <laughs> and then uh, I need a piece for my body and since this is cheapy craft wire I'm going to just cut off a piece that I know is going to be more than long enough and this is about an inch, uh, two inches of wire okay so then I'm going to put the head on cool right now you can do this two ways and I'm going to do it this way for you guys so that it's easier for you and now I'm going to take uh, pieces of wire and let's measure them I did it with my other one I say about four and a half inches each piece of wire and I'm just going to cut off four pieces at four and a half inches of this pink funky wire that I'm never going to use for anything else. Uh, I have some green and red wire that I plan to use at Christmas but pink funky wire not likely to use and I, as you notice I'm not being like absolutely perfect with measuring here because I'm going to be cutting off ends anyways. So one two three one more four. So I've made four pieces of wire and all I'm going to do is take one end of them just flattening out the ends a little bit and I'm going to bring the four ends together. I'm going to find approximately the middle it doesn't really matter. I'm going to put it up against that bead and I'm going to take it and I'm going to try to bring them down so they're sort of meeting in the middle on the bottom side there. Okay. And whatever side's just a smidge longer is the side I'm going to bring back up. Okay, so you have this wrapped around. And I've done this every time with the uh, other bead on first, so this is weird doing it this way for me, but I just want you to see what I'm doing. So I'm just bringing them around and wrapping them around. And then, so there's this big hot mess right here. <laughs> okay, there we go. All wrapped around. So then I'm going to take my other bead and I'm going to stick it on here. And you always check your bead to make sure it's going to fit before you use it, before you grab it. This is pretty tight, but it'll fit. And I'm going to push this super tight so it holds these legs in place. And what it does is it gives the spider a little tiny bit of a body. Now I want to push this in, it's pull this as tight as I can and if you want you can grab a hold of your pliers and pull. And the reason I want this to be tight is because I don't want these legs to do this. I want them to, when they're like this, they, they stay a little bit tighter, okay? And then I'm going to take it and bend this wire over the edge of my bead. So these legs now aren't spinning around. Look, it's not a helicopter. I can move them around if I want to, but then it's not a helicopter. And if you want to, you can wrap them a second time. That's up to you. So now I have this bent around my bead. So what I tend to do is um, you can do one of two things. You can take this and um, fold it back on itself or cut it off and then fold it back on itself or you could just fold it down along the bead. And this time I think I'm going to cut it back on itself. So I'm just going to take it, taking my little pliers. I'm going to make that little loop again. And then I'm going to squish down. And if it needs to be tightened, I'm just rolling that loop on itself because that's, I need it to be tighter for the legs. Okay. So once I have the legs, you can sort them out any way you like. I'm going to show you how to shape them in a minute. You can leave your legs just like this if you want. That's up to you if you have this is kind of a creepy, if I did the legs properly, this is a really creepy looking spider. Let's see if I brought these two back like this and these two up like this. Give these two a bit of a doo -doo. It looks more like a spider. See? And the legs are too long at the moment unless you want to be a dandy long leg. So I have this, and this is only like a quarter of an inch. 
quarter of an inch, half an inch. Yeah, half an inch. The body is only half an inch total. Your body can be as big as you want. On my black one, my body was uh, three quarters of an inch. So, depending on the beads you use, depends on how big your body is. All right. So now we're gonna. I'm gonna straighten these wires out because it's easier to work with. And again, I'm just tightening them up, pulling them, tightening them up around that center core. And if you're not happy, you can bring ones around again. And I'm not really happy, so I'm going to bring these around again. The idea is you want to have a set of four and a set of four coming out both sides. And they're wrapped around there good and tight. Okay? So then you need some beads. So I'm going to bring my 15s into this. These are really tiny. And then I have these are 11s. The red ones are 11s. So then I'm going to take a leg. Doesn't matter. I'm going to have to do all eight legs. I'm going to take a leg and this wire is thin enough and check before you use the wire you're going to use and the beads you're going to use that they'll fit over. See how this just goes over? So I'm going to do one, two, three. Well, that doesn't want to go on. They, they go on pretty good. So sometimes I get a funky bead and it doesn't want to go on. And these 15s are really tiny and they're really hard to see. So I put four on. Once I have four on, see there's four. I put on one of these. And they're, these aren't even the exact same tone. They're slightly different shades of red because they're cheapy beads. For these knuckle joints, you can use crystals. So I could use, um, if I wanted to, I could use fire polished, uh, you know, two twos. I could use whatever I wanted. So as I said, I can make it as fancy or as unfancy as you like. So I have two sections of four. So four, a big bead, four, a big bead. And then I'm going to do eight. So one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. Good thing I can aim for the hole. I can actually see a lighter hole. See a, see a lighter hole there? This one's on its side, this one's not. Because I can see that light hole. And that light hole is what I aim for because I'm half blind. Okay, so I have my four, the, the 11 -0, the four 15s, 11 -0, and then eight 15s. And this is the top. So I'm just going to hold on to my, push my beads down. I'm not, I'm not ramming them down. I'm just holding them down so they're snug. I'm going to take a pair of pliers. You can use round nose pliers or these flat nose. I'm just using my short little stubby flat nose pliers. And I'm sticking them on the end here so that my beads don't fall off number one. And then I'm going to bring this tip around. And I'm going to move them just slightly and I'm actually going to just leave them on there because they're small enough and if I was using my round nose pliers I could do the same thing and I'm just wrapping it once and a half I'm not even going to go twice around and it leaves this funky little tail and I'll show you what it looks like in a second I'm going to cut off the excess so I'm cutting off the excess and then I'm tucking that in so that it doesn't show. Try not to break your beads. Okay, so what you get is you get this little it's sort of a messy wrap loop with a little loop on the bottom and that's where that wire is going to go through. So that loop has to be big enough to fit one of these wires through, but that's it. So you're going to do that to all eight of your piece and I'll be right back when that's done. Okay, so I have all eight of my legs done. So you can see they're kind of fun and you can see all the weird loops and they're not all exactly the same and they're not perfect. I don't really care. It's fine. I'm, what I'm doing right now is just turning the loops so that they're facing in the right direction so that when I go to pass the wire through, I'm not going to have any problems. Okay. So now I have my piece that I've gotten to this stage where I have the wire hanging out and I'm going to back out a little bit. Okay, 
so I have my piece with the wire hanging out and I need to put on my spider and I need to decide how I want my spider to go on. Do I want my, this is the top, so do I want my spider this way? Do I want my spider this way? I don't know. How do I want my spider? Hmm, I think I'm going to put my spider this way. I like it to the top. So spiders have eight legs and they tend to, at this first joint here, uh, they tend to come up and then they bend down. So see how that goes? And then they flare out just a little bit. So I'm going to bring it up. I'm going to come down and I'm going to flare it out. And these ones go to the back. These two in the middle. Oh, there's my middle one up. I'm taking my fingernail because it's a thin enough wire and then I'm going to flare it out. And these ones at the front come up, bend, flare out but come to the front like that. So you have one set that comes to the back and one, and that's what they look like from the side. Okay. And let me do the other side so you can see. So up, down, flare. You can up them all, down, flare down, flare, up, down, flare, and let's bring this one to the back, towards the back. There's these two. These two are towards the front, so your flare has to be matching like the direction it needs to go, and these two are in the middle. See? So you just work with your spider till you make till you make it look like you're happy with it. I don't like the way this front one is. So I'm bringing this around a little bit more. That's a little bit better. So I'm a little bit happier with that. And these legs are a little on the loose side. They could be a little bit tighter. Okay. So if I want it up top, I need to think about this as I go around. So I need to put a leg through here. And then as I come around, I need to catch the legs. And you can leave some of the legs loose. Like this one could be loose, but then I might tie this one down. So you need to figure out your legs as you go, what fits where. So this one and this one can be fastened. This one can be fastened. I can leave this one loose. I would leave this one loose. I would fasten and fasten those two. So we're going to fasten the first one. So remember I had you wrap it around. So I'm going to actually bring this wire to the top. So it's on the front side. And the whole thing's splaying around all over the place. Okay, front side. I'm going to put it through that first loop on the first foot. Okay. And this is where it gets, if you have splingy wire like I do, it gets a little interesting, but that's okay. We're gonna we're gonna do it. We can do it. Okay, bring it around, bring it around, bring it around, bring it around. There we go. Got it there. So that's number one. And then I'm gonna bring it back down. Bring it back up. And I don't know if you noticed, I was paying attention to where the next leg would be needed um, to go. So at this point, I've got it to here. I'm going to wrap it around one more time because I'm ready to do another leg. And I want to make sure I wrap this and secure it before I do another leg. So let's untwine that. There we go. Wrap it and secure it. So I'm ready for this leg here to go in. See this leg right here? So I'm going to put that in. There we go. So that one's in. And you can, you're going to be able to bend these and fix these so that you're absolutely happy with all the legs once you get them, you know, fastened on. So I'm going to do that one. And I'm going to skip that one because I decided I wanted to have one hanging out. And this one here I wanted to get in. So 
that one's there. So I need to wrap it around this one so I can catch the next one. So I'm just going up and down. Try not to catch the legs. Try not to catch anything else. So I want to get this center wire, but I don't want it to be moved over that much. So I'm bringing my around. Now you can see what I'm doing. So, so I'm pushing against the wire so the wire stays where I want it to stay. And I just pushed a little too hard. There we go. I don't know if you saw what I just did, but I just unwrapped this top piece here. So I'm just going to take it and I'm going to wrap it back. So just grabbing it and twisting it around so it tightens itself back up again. Okay, so I'm ready for the next leg. And I tend to squish my legs when I'm doing these and putting it on. I want this leg on. So if you're squishing your legs, because there's, there is only 26 gauge wire, don't panic. It's okay. Stick that on. Go back down. So I need to have this leg on this side. Come on. Get, 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 get. So this is the fiddliest part of the whole thing. But there you go. It's there. So now I'm ready for the next leg if I want to. So it's down. I'm going to have to fasten this around. Anytime you want to do a new leg, you got to bring and fasten around the wire. And then you can stick it through uh, the next leg. And when I did the one where I kept it all loose, the first one that I showed you, I just did this with the wire without it adding any legs. I just added the first leg here. And when I came around to this top one here, this last leg, I added that one. So again, you can add as many legs as you want or as little legs in this process as you want. That's up to you. So I'm going to go down. This leg I'm leaving alone. Back up. And you're already, some of you who are perfection and wire wrappers are looking at this going, yeah, but this is now like this and it's not perfect. And all right, relax. You can still move this wire around and I can make it go where I want it to go. So it's fine. Don't panic. Um, life is too short to worry about all those things. I'm not selling my items for $300 a piece. So I'm fine with it not being perfect. I'm actually okay with... Um, do I need to put that leg in? Yeah, I think I may need to put that leg in because I'm going to leave this one out. This one here out and then I'm going to put this one in. Okay, so that's, that's literally what I do is I make the decision as I go. Take it and hold it tight. Pull. So it makes a little wrap. Stick it through this leg. And the leg happens to be sticking down below, which is fine. And once you wrap it around, it doesn't really matter whether you go under or over. Um, when you're doing the next pull through, you can do either or whatever you feel like. Because once it's wrapped around, it's secured. So this one I'll just do over. This one I'll go under. So I have one more wrap to do around this one here. And see how I'm sort of keep moving these towards the center and sort of putting them where I want them. Because the ones on the side still move around. And bring this up. I'm holding with my thumb where I want the wire to stay. And I'm coming around. Putting my wire back down. Right, so you know it wants to move around, it's fine. Let's, I'll catch that leg. Not that way anyways. So I'm going to put a pinch right there and there. And that I'm good with where the wire is. And now I have the one last leg to put in. 
Yay. Now if you use 11 and 15 O's uh, for the body and just uh, leave the bare wire, you can make little spiders hanging. Um, so you could just use some 15 O's, um, sort of uh, wrap, uh, tie a knot with some thread, dark black thread. Um, <clears throat> put a couple of 15 O's towards the bottom, put this little tiny 15 and, and you know, with the little tiny wires um, hanging down so you could have some baby spiders hanging down if you wanted. Just so you know. So when I get to the top here, I have everything attached. You can see this is attached. It can still be moved, but it's attached. And again, I'm going to go around that top piece. And this time I'm going to sort of really make a messy wrap loop on the top here. Cover up some of where it's um, connected. It's my choice and my, uh, I like the way it sort of looks. I'm trying to, there we go, get that silver covered. So I'm using up some of that wire and this is what it'll look like. Now I have to fix the spider because the spider's a hot mess. So you can get in there with your tools or you can get in there with whatever you like. So again, it's, you need to make, and if you're using your pliers, don't squeeze. Just use them as levers to push against. So I need to make these come up and bend. So this leg is a free leg, so I can make it come over here a little bit more. This is another, f this leg goes to here. So la la, creepy spider. Let me cut off this. And then I'm gonna tuck it around the back, tuck it in and under. So I don't have to worry about it catching on anything or bothering me. And I like these. So let me just make sure it's good and focused for you. Cool, huh? Like my spider on my web. So that's what you have. You have a spider on a web. Love it, love it, love it. Kind of creepy hanging. So this is the one. And here's the other one that I made previously with the purples. Here's the two that I made. Here's one with the purples and uh, one with the uh, with the reds. I am so happy. Um, this is what they look like. They I make great spiders. I could tweak the legs to make them look a little bit prettier on this one, on the red one. But I'll play with that later. See, I can bring this in and bring this bring this leg in a bit. There we go. But they look great. I love them. I love them. Love them. So these are actually small enough because they're only one and a half inch by one and a half inch that you could turn them into earrings as well. So you could make a matched pair and hang them on your ears. Um, you know, this is the middle of my hand. It would be a larger dangle. People would not want to come near you that don't like spiders um, if you wore these as earrings for sure. <laughs> but I think they're wonderful. Um, I'm thinking also too that it would be fun. Uh, you could use it as a brooch pin as well uh, if you take it and um, you know wrap something so that you could you know add it to a pin back or actually add a pin through the back of these wires. Um, but you can see this is it's three dimensional. It's fun. It's creepy. It's Halloween. Move. So keep on making from A's makings and uh, please like, share, and subscribe. Take care. Bye. Thank you.